Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and Stars for Tarot. And I'm here today with a pick a pole that I've got guided to do. And this is how do your angels and guides see you? So your divine team as I like to call them. So how are they viewing you right now? What would they like you to know about the way they see you? What's going on with you? So I'm pretty sure for the oracles. And we're also going to look at some tarot. So I want you to pick from one of the three piles, but use your intuition. Do not think about it too long. Just go with your first reaction to what you're, you're drawn to. And I just want to say a big thank you to all your love and support. really appreciate you being here. Um, right now I'm doing a special offer on love readings, love letter readings, and any, any other love readings. Um, the prices are in my community page. Um, and you can pay by PayPal and contact me by email. All the details are in there. And I'm offering half price healing sessions right now. And if you're going through anything difficult in your life, trauma, loss, heartbreak, relationship issues, money issues, I can assist you with that. It's a very powerful healing modality. And this is a half price offer that won't be, you know, ongoing. So, you know, the links will be down below. Um, so you can click on that and again you can email me if you have any questions about that and I'm happy to answer any questions. So we've got three piles. So pile one we have the Jade Buddha. Pile two the Gold Buddha. And pile three the Rose Quartz Buddha. So pick your Buddha and we will get started at pile one. Pile one you chose the Jade Buddha, beautiful Buddha. I did have an amethyst Buddha and I've no idea where that's gone. So hopefully I can find that soon. So how do your guides and angels see you, Paiwan? So we've got knowledge here, Athena. So Athena, the goddess of wisdom, of knowledge. And we've got the owl there. So they see you as somebody very wise. Um, somebody that's accumulated a lot of knowledge and wisdom over your lifetime and lifetimes. You've possibly lived many lifetimes and you've gained a lot of knowledge and wisdom in that time and they want you to tap into that more. It could be that for some of you, you haven't tapped into the full extent of your knowledge. So they want you to do that. And the hour is that sign of wisdom. So they want you to know you're wise. Um, maybe you're not aware of how wise you are, but they want you to know that that you have wisdom beyond your years, however old you are. It's not about that. It's about experiences you've had in past lives and in this life. And we've got the number five. So five is the energy of change. So get ready for change is what they want you to, to know. So this could be you really accessing your gifts even more or accessing your gifts for the first time or accessing ancient knowledge or information that is that has always been within you. But you're going to get access to that. And we've got Freya. Abundance. And another five. Wow. So five, five. Abundance, peace and contentment. So they see you as somebody that is very peaceful. That's in a contented energy and is abundant. And if you're not in that energy just now, you are going to be coming into that energy. And it that's why you want they want you to tap into your wisdom within... You have the know-how and knowledge of how to access that. So they really want you to step up. But this is your birthright. An energy of abundance, peace and contentment. This is what they want for you. And if you're not there yet with that five energy, you're, you're moving towards that. Because that's your birthright. And they want you to be in this energy because you, you are worthy and deserving of that in your life and they want you to know that sorry i can't seem to get the light right i think it's the light from the window let me move that it's better yeah compassion so you're somebody that's very compassionate you're very compassionate to others and they want you to be more compassionate to yourself Maybe you haven't been as compassionate to yourself as others. They want you to start being more compassionate to yourself, to give yourself that compassion and to spread that compassion, you know, through the world, to be compassionate 
and not beat yourself up about things and really love yourself um, enough to know that you deserve all these good things that are coming towards you and open up to receive those good things. And we have divine, divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. Yeah, so they're sending you signs and they're, they're giving you guidance. They're connecting to you through your crown, through your intuition, through your third eye. They want you to t pay attention to the signs. But you are heading towards your divine life purpose. You're here to fulfill a purpose. And they're sending you signs. And they're giving you guidance. So they want you to tap in within more. Because as I said at the beginning, you have that wisdom within you. You have that knowledge within you. And they want you to use it more. They want you to tap into that more. That essence of you. That inner wisdom that you have. That inner knowledge that you have. Those those gifts. Those skills. They want you to tap into that more. Because that's part of your life purpose. And you are heading in the right direction. And this came out reverse. I don't always take it reverse. But it says victim consciousness. Number 12. So... The fact that that's come out reverse was significant, I felt. So you could have been in victim mode. Um, you could have been in victim mode a lot of your life. You could have struggled with things. Um, maybe things didn't go your way. And you went in, you fell into victim mode. Um, and you compared yourself to others. Um, you felt you weren't doing as good as them. Or you weren't where you wanted to be at a certain age or a certain decade of your life. And you slipped into victim consciousness. So I feel with that reverse, you've been working on that. You're coming out with that energy now. And they're proud of you for that. They know that took a lot of work. And you're heading out of that energy. You're heading out of that energy of being in victim mode. They want you to be in the energy of celebration of yourself and your achievements and not slip into victim mode. And you are coming out of that energy with that reverse there. So they're they're proud of you for that. Yeah, you're like the phoenix rising. Oh my God, we've got another five. Can you believe that? So we've got five, then we had a 23 and another, th and then 32. So every combination. So you are the phoenix rising. You're rising like the phoenix out of the ashes. After a difficult time, you are following your life purpose, your divine purpose. You're stepping into an energy of abundance, peace and contentment. You're being self-loving, compassionate. You're tapping into the ancient wisdom and knowledge. You are rising like the phoenix out of the ashes. And, you know, I'm recording this after the solar eclipse. So that was a very powerful turning point, I feel, for a lot of people. So you're you're going to be rising up. Um, and this is your birthright. Yeah, you have the, the power of the magician. You've got creation. You are a powerful manifester. And you have all those skills and talents within you. You have that ancient knowledge of this, of co-creating with the universe. And because you kept slipping into victim mode, you were holding yourself back from being the creative being that you were meant to be. And I feel with this Phoenix rising, you're going to be stepping into that energy more of being the creator of your own destiny. Yeah, third eye portal, intuition, focus and confusion. So, yeah, there's a third eye activation. So this um, connects with that knowledge at the beginning. You're tapping into higher knowledge. You're tapping into knowledge within you. That's always been there. Your intuition is going to get fired up. You're going to be more focused. You're going to see through through your inner vision. You're going to see things. You're going to see through the BS in this world and cut through the confusion. So you're, you're going to get more clarity by using your own intuition and really tapping into your intuition here. An emergent share, yeah. creation, rebirth, magician, exactly what I was just saying, wow. So this sums it up in one card. So you're emerging, you know, like the phoenix rising, like I said, you're emerging out of a, a difficult period of your life, a time where maybe things were not going your way, you had many setbacks, you had many obstacles, whatever you were going through, and you would slip into victim mode because it was challenging and it was hard. And you're overcoming that and you're going to be more tapped into your gifts, your inner knowing, your intuition, your third eye activating and using those talents and gifts to co-create the universe. Uh, 
you have that ability you are going through a rebirth right now and you are the magician so you can manifest any anything that you desire wow that's really powerful power one so let's get some final tarot what does your guys and angels want you to know yeah you're strong you've got the strength card you've you've overcome a lot you've overcome a lot in your life and it's made you very strong emotionally spiritually mentally um and physically for some of you you're very strong yeah there's success on the horizons here with the six of wands you're you're moving towards success in your life and the sun oh my god you're moving towards joy and happiness so yeah it's a beautiful energy so i'm going to leave it there part one if you enjoyed that please give me a thumbs up and i will see you next time bye for now hello part two you chose the gold pudder so how do your guides and angels see you right now as i will say the divine team your divine team so we've got sophia divine wisdom so yeah you are full of divine wisdom you are an aspect of the divine you're an aspect of source energy and you have a lot within you and there could be extra downloads coming through you could be channeling information there could be you know divine assistance coming in and this knowledge that they're sharing with you that you're going to have access to there could be a crown and a third eye activation coming in and you're going to be able to tap into this divine wisdom the knowledge of all that is you're going to be able to tap into that so this is something that's going to be opening up within you i feel the fairy norn planning patience and cooperation so yeah this they see you as somebody that's very good at planning you have a lot of patience and you're good at cooperation you're good at working with others and and i didn't say here but the number 48 is adds up down to a three energy which is a collaboration energy so they see the way you work with others the way you cooperate the way you plan things out and the way you have patience with other people and yourself and they really admire you for that you know they really applaud in you for that having that within you and they see you as somebody with a lot of perception and yeah you're coming you know you're taking your mask off or you may have taken your mask off some time and you some time ago and you see beyond other people's masks you see behind the mask because you have that perception you have that divine knowledge you have that intuitive knowledge within you and you have great discernment and you see beyond people's masks you see beyond the words you see beyond their actions even because you have that intuitive know-how and great perception and again they applaud you for that and we have progress not perfection don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself instead focus upon upon how far you've come and all you've learned wow so maybe you're somebody that judges yourself you you know you're quite judgmental um, and harsh on yourself that the inner self-critic is very active maybe and this can be from childhood wounds you know as we know you may have grown up in a situation like that but they want you to really applaud yourself and focus how far you've come and all that you've learned don't compare yourself to others okay because we're all truly unique do not judge yourself just focus on what you've achieved, how far you've come and all that you've learned. That is what they're seeing in you. That is what they appreciate about you. Um, all the good that you've done, all the things you've learned, how far you've come from where you started. Self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So you could have confidence issues at times. You could lack self-confidence and they're telling you to work through god confidence so use god use that, that energy the universe energy to work through you to give you the confidence like like that saying goes fake it till you make it but it's your divine right you have that within you it's just that you doubt yourself at times so they want you to call on god the universe um to use that energy to give you the confidence um because it will really make a difference to you the way you feel about yourself and your life and love yeah they want you to love yourself 
28. So there's a new beginning in love as well. There could be somebody coming towards you for some of you. Um, didn't intend it to be a love reading, but they're letting you know there is somebody that's got their eye on you. There's somebody watching her there. So you may not even know that. If you're looking for love, I feel this is a message from you that there is somebody. It feels like soulmate energy um, that is the one for you that's coming towards you. Um, and there's like a sadness there, like a longing. And somebody has really got their eye on you here. So energetically you could feel them, but they may not be in your physical vicinity right now. So I feel they just wanted to let you know. But it's also loving yourself, you know, getting into that energy of self-love. They they love you. They love you very much and they're sending you their love always. So never doubt that. Yeah, and have faith, number 22. So, you know, that can be the energy of partnerships, relationships. But having faith, you know, having faith with yourself, having faith in your God or the universe, the angels, whatever you believe in, having faith is what keeps us moving forward and they admire that in you you you've know you you have faith you've always had faith and belief and you've kept going through difficult times through challenges and they want you to keep going just a bit longer have faith and especially if you're looking for love and and you you know it's been difficult and you've been single they want you to continue with that faith because it's coming it's coming towards you here yeah, we've got isolation. So you could have felt quite isolated. Um, and they've noticed that, that you've maybe isolated yourself from others. Um, you've kept yourself apart. There could be reasons for that. Um, and you spent a lot of time alone. And they've noticed that. And they want you to start coming out of that energy. Um, you know, step by step. They want you to start coming out of isolation. You know, get dressed up. There's, well, there's a suit there. You know, maybe get dressed up. Looks, you know, whatever you want to do. Get yourself out there. Um, go out for a walk. Go and visit somebody. Just get yourself out of of this isolation. Um, because it's it's gone on too long is what they're saying. Yeah, they want you to find balance in your life. So the balance between alone time and the balance with others... You could be somebody that is highly introverted and you struggle with company of other people. Um, it's a, You could be highly en en empathetic, a highly sensitive person. So when you're around the energy of other people, it's very draining. But they want you to find a balance between, you know, spending time with others. Um, it's like, this is making me laugh because they've got their arms crossed. It's like, we don't want to be here, but it, it's like, you know, find that balance of spending time alone and spending time with others and get out of that rut that you may have got into because there's good things coming towards you here. Pile two. Yeah, we've got harmonic resolution, negativity, anger, transmute. So I feel part of the isolation is you're going through something, as I said, you're healing, you, you may have had anger, there may have been negativity within you. You could be going through trauma, loss, heartbreak, and you needed that time alone to transmute this energy, um, to heal, to release, to transmute it. And we can see all the chakra colours there. So, you know, focusing on, on all the energetic centres and you're going to be coming into harmony here. You're going to be coming into a harmony and we've got the 10 energy. So one, yeah, you're getting ready for a new beginning and you needed that alone time to get rid of this negative emotions and to transmute it. And sometimes we need to be alone and that could be why you were in isolation. But they want you to start coming out of that energy now. And contemplation, silence, releasing and meditation. So, yeah, maybe you've been in silence a lot of the time. If you've been alone, maybe you needed that to cleanse and clear your mind, your energy. You've been releasing, you've been meditating. And they want you to know they're proud of that in you. They're proud that you've done that. And now it's time to dip your toe in the water, to start getting out there more and balance that, you know, balance the time alone, balance your inner work with the outer work and getting out there and meeting like minded people. And yeah, they're, they're proud of you for the work that you've done. And you have divine wisdom within you, which you 
they want you to share with others in some way. So let's look at the tarot. What else does the guys and angels want part two to know? Yeah, we've got the chariot. Yeah, get ready for your life to start moving forward. And we've got the balance there of those sphinxes. They're in balance. Yeah, in the energy of self-love with the Queen of Cups, you know, loving yourself, being compassionate, you know, being in that loving, nurturing energy towards self and others. Yeah, they want you to start again, you know, like a, follow your passion, have a brand new passion at the beginning, allow yourself a fresh start here. Yeah, and get out of your head, you know, the Eight of Swords upright is when we're stuck, we feel stuck in our head, in our mind, we feel trapped. And you are coming out of that, you know, and that was part of the isolation, you are coming out of that. Yeah, and tapping into that inner knowing, that high priestess energy, and the success ahead here. You know, there's, there's movement forward, there's success coming in, um, achievement, you know, and... You need to tap into your intuition more, but they're very proud of you. So that's the message for you, part two. Many blessings. If you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Hello, part three. You chose the Rose Quartz Buddha. So I appreciate for the oracles and we're going to get some tarot. So how do your guides and angels see you, part three? So we've got Demeter with nurturing, we've got an 11 energy here. So they see you as somebody very nurturing, very loving towards others. Um, they just want to you to nurture yourself more. Um, it's like you nurture others freely, but with yourself you struggle with that a bit. So they want you to nurture yourself much more. But yeah, you are a nurturer and that, you know they are proud of you for that. But they want you to nurture yourself more. And we've got Nishik, curiosity, open and warm. So again, they see you as somebody that's, you know, very open to learning, very curious, wants to know, always ready to learn new things. And you're very open minded and you're very warm and you could have this connection to nature. You could be an earth sign, um, particularly autumn season. You, you could you could feel very connected to that, but you've got an open, warm personality and your curious energy um, really attracts others. This open, warm energy attracts others towards you. And again, they like that energy that you're in there. And we've got strength energy. So they see you as somebody that's very strong. You've overcome a lot in your life. You know, you've been through difficulties and you've not let it hold you back. You've kept moving forward. So you've gained in strength emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And even physically for some of you, you, you have that strength and you are a good example to others, is what they say. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So there could be something right now, maybe you're not eating or drinking or sleeping well and you need to do some sort of release here. And you can use um, Epsom salts in your bath. You can use sage, palo santo in your home, crystals. You can use um, flower essences. Um, they're very subtle. Um, so whatever you're going through, you need to release physical and energetic toxins from your life right now. And again, it's always good. They want you to have a clear out of your home as well. Maybe you're holding on to things that you no longer need. They, they, they contain energy, you know, they can contain negative energy, stuck energy. So get rid of what you can, donate if you don't need it, you know, give it to someone that needs it maybe. And do that energetic clearing within yourself, you know, maybe, you know, do something with your diet, with with your drinks. Um, take some medication like herbal remedies, uh, see a homeopath, have some healing uh from a healer and cleanse and clear your home and this will really help lift you if you've been in a stuck energy here how teachable are you number nine so again you they want you to know you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge within you but there is always more to learn and i feel that you are realizing that maybe you had a period in your life 
where you stopped learning, where you stopped looking because you were going through something, as I said, some difficult times and you were not looking outside of yourself. You were focusing on you and you had things that you were dealing with, whatever that means for you. Um, and they want you to start opening up again, opening up that curiosity because that is part of your nature and start opening up and learning more. However, you did choose to do that through books, through the Internet, uh, through, I don't know, however you choose going to a, a college or studying something, however you're doing that. Um, but there's always more to learn and. You are capable of so much more. They want you to know that there is so much more for you to learn out there. So they want you to continue learning. But they're very proud of how much you've learned and how much information you, you already have. And unleash your creativity. So they want you to start being more creative in your life. So if you're not tapped into your creativity, that's the sacral chakra. So maybe the sacral chakra is a bit blocked or stuck for you right now. And again, I have um, meditations for each chakra on my channel, in my playlist, if you want to check that out, to help clear that chakra, uh, which is the water chakra, and it's also the divine feminine chakra. So connecting more to the divine feminine essence of you, whether you're masculine or feminine, and unleash your creativity. You know, she's dressed in a unusual way. She's expressing herself through her clothing. I mean, it can be as simple as that, you know, you're dressing in a certain way, uh, you do your makeup in a certain way, you know, the image you want to portray, you're creative in that way. Or you could be somebody that likes to decorate homes, or maybe you like to paint or draw or write uh, stories or poems, maybe you like to cook, maybe you like to garden, you know, create a garden. Uh, work with animals whatever it is you know it's time to tap into that creative side of you because it really helps with our well-being it really does yeah we've got isolation loneliness bonds and home so we've got the wolf spirit there and yeah two wolf spirits actually so you could be single you could be single right now um but you're calling out for your soulmate. That's what the energy I'm getting there. So you could be waiting for a soulmate and you've been lonely. You you could have been single for some time or you're in separation from somebody and you're missing home. You know, you could resonate as a star seed. Um, you feel isolated. You feel separate from others. You feel different to others in some way. And it's about expressing ourselves, you know, being authentic, allowing yourself to unleash that creativity, being open-minded, opening up to new information, being curious, loving yourself, you know, clearing and cleansing your energy and allowing yourself to come out of this period of loneliness and isolation. And we're going to clarify that with the tarot in a minute. So they want you to come out of this period of isolation. And a similar message came out in another pile, actually. Yeah, we've got solar eclipse. So we just had the solar eclipse as I'm recording this. So you are going to be coming out of it. You're coming out of this isolation into a phoenix. This also reminds me of the phoenix, rebirth, growth, opportunities and change. So change is coming towards you and it's a 10 energy. So a one, a new beginning. So you are going to be coming out of that. You're going to be reborn. It's a rebirth phase. You're coming into a period of growth, new opportunities and change. So allow that. Allow yourself to receive that. They want you to receive that. And a period of joy. Look at that. She's dancing. Maybe you're somebody that likes to dance. Or maybe you need to start moving your body more. Um, you know, doing an exercise. You know, yoga or qigong or tai chi. Or, you know, creative dance. Or whatever it is. You know, just moving your body. is really going to tap you into the joy energy. And you could have been lacking that. And they want, your guides and angels want you to tap into that joy energy of you more. Okay, they want you to tap into the joy. So for the highest light, love and truth, why is that isolation there? It's isolation there. Yeah, we've got Page of Pentacles. So they definitely want a new beginning for you. They want you to step out of that. And I feel that's what you're going to be doing. I definitely feel that. So what else do you want Pile 3 to know for the highest light, love and truth? Yeah, we've got a brand new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. So 
and it's going to involve abundance you know you're going to have that brand new beginning it's going to involve abundance and you could have struggled with your, with your finance before you're coming into a much more abundant time yeah eight of pentacles so that is always my creative card as well so tapping in your create into your creativity could help you to manifest money you know perfecting a skill a talent that you have in some way is going to bring in money so this could be your main income or this could be a side hustle that you're doing but whatever you're doing in a creative way is going to bring you in finances here Yeah, you've overcome a lot with the Nine of Wands and you never gave up hope. You never gave up moving forward. And your angels and guys are proud of you for that, that you never gave up. You kept moving forward and there's a brand new beginning there. Wow, and we've got the Ace of Cups. So loving yourself is really going to help you. Being in that energy of self-love. And there could be a new beginning in love as well. If you're looking for love, like I said, some of you could be trying to manifest a soulmate. What else for Paul? Three. Yeah, we've got the eight of wands. So there's going to be movement forward. Um, you know, this can be fast movement forward. And it could also involve a lot of communication coming in. And we've got clarity coming in. And we've got the Queen of Wands energy. So I feel that's the energy that you're stepping into. You're stepping into that beautiful Queen of Wands energy. Which is that, you know, passionate, creative, motivated person that follows their passion and attracts a lot of attention. A very sexy, sensual person. So, yeah, and that's that's how they see you. They're very proud of you, pile two or uh, three. So if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Many blessings.